Greetings and welcome to this World Sound Healing Day experience with Lama Tashi. We're going to begin in just a few moments. So let's just sit here and for a moment breathe deeply and know that in parts of the world this extraordinary day of vibratory activation using sacred sound has already begun. And it is my great honor to introduce a very dear friend of mine that I'd love to introduce to you now. Geshe Nwang Tashibapu, well known as Lama Tashi, is president of the Siddhartha Foundation. He's been the principal chant master of the Drapung Losling Monastery and served as director of the Central Institute of Himalayan Cultural Studies in India. Lama Tashi's Tibetan deep voice is world-renowned. He was the first Tibetan Buddhist monk to be nominated for a Grammy with his recording of Tibetan Master Chants. He's a renowned scholar and speaker on subjects regarding compassion, wisdom, and other areas of Tibetan Buddhist philosophy, yoga, and meditation. In honor of World Sound Healing Day, he's going to be leading us in prayers for personal and planetary healing, focusing on the energies of the Avalokitesvara, Medicine Buddha, and Tara. For those interested, in the near future, Lama Tashi will be leading online courses in the foundations of Tibetan energy anatomy and the secrets of happiness. So please, welcome with me, Lama Tashi. Greetings, Lama Tashi, and take it away. Thank you. And Tashi Delik to all. And good morning or good evening, good, ev uh, good afternoon, wherever you are. Uh, first of all, I would like to thank uh, my friend, my dear friend, Jonathan, for having me uh, at, uh, on this World Sound Healing. And I want to thank you all for giving your time to be with me today. Now, as our tradition, first of all, uh, setting motivation. So first verse when I recite, if you can set your motivation as well, that is selfless intention to share sacred sound healing energy for entire being all over the planet. That's number one. So. I will go one by one, I will talk and then chant, and then maybe I would request you to join with me. So we all can share our sacred healing energy for the beings all over the planet. So first, as I said earlier, when I chant this first, if you can set a motivation that I am here to share my sacred healing energy to the, all the beings, to all the beings on the planet. So please set this motivation when I recite them, this uh, verse. <laughs> Don't you 
set perfectly next I want you to join me uh, in first sharing our loving and kind loving kindness and compassion and love towards all other beings starting with forgiveness you know before we give anything to other we have to have it in ourselves first if we don't have, we cannot give it away. So we should generate love and compassion and loving kindness within our heart. Then we share it to other beings. But without having the practice of forgiveness, we cannot give our love and compassion. Even if we give it, it will be only for the certain people, but not to the all people. Because if we have a resentment and anger and hatred towards some individual who will not be able to give our love and compassion to that person. So starting with forgiveness. So forgive all the beings that has been not nice to you, forgive them and then bring them all together. And then we keep our loving kindness, compassion and the love. So when we talk about compassion, uh, it is we are giving our wish to them, wishing them to be free from the pain as much as I wish myself to be free from the pain, or as much as we wish to our beloved one. So we share it to all people without exception. And same thing with the love, we send our wish to all other beings including those who have not been nice to us. Forgive them and then send our wish to them as well. Wish them to be happy as much as I wish to myself, as much as, much as I wish to my beloved one. I want to give that wish to you as well. So that's what we needed. So for this, we will have to have this love and compassion generated within ourselves and uh, amplify it, make it multiple, multiple it, amplify it in like abundance amount. So here I would like to request you to uh, visualize something here that that compassion and that kindness and that love and blessings should come from somewhere uh, for this I would like to uh, chant the mantra related to Avalokiteshvara. Here you can see the image of Avalokiteshvara behind me. And then mantra to the left. Uh, at the center, I put the Tibetan in the Tibetan, but you know, you can read in uh, English. But here there is a sit syllable Sri. So you can think that the sit syllable she and then uh, surrounded by Om Mane Peme Hum. So this is mantra of Avalokiteshvara, the Lord of compassion and kindness. So you visualize the Avalokiteshvara in front of you. 
He is the one that giving us the, all the positive energy, blessings. When, when I chant, you take a breath, uh, breath in, deep breathing, you know, it comes to all the way down to your navel. So blessings from our Lokiteshwara comes to you and enters to your body and goes way down in multiple set and then you get the, all the blessings then you send it out to all other beings and make them free from resentment, anger, hatreds and filled with compassion and love. And that's how you send your blessings of compassion and kindness to others. You bless yourself, you bless others. But for that, we invoke the uh, sacred energy from our Lokiteshwara. Come in, breathe in, hold it inside yourself, and then generate that blessing of compassion and love. You fill yourself full of compassion and love, and then you send it out for all other beings when you breathe out. So, I will be chanting. Please uh, uh, visualize as I mentioned before. Oh, my name is 
Now I will make a short dedication uh, to Avalokiteshvara. Well, when I chant, you visualize that Avalokiteshvara is happy with you and telling you that, oh, my dear, you are completely free from all the resentments and angers and hatreds and all negative emotion and free from all those. And now you are filled with all the compassion and love and kindness in your heart and you become one of the best human beings on earth. Please visualize that. Think in mind when I recite this verse. Next would be uh, uh, Medicine Buddha. Here, I would like uh, you to visualize Medicine Buddha sitting in front of you and sending his blessings of healing. And same as earlier that you take it, uh, a deep breath and with your breath you get the, all the blessings in the form of the mantra but the making sound that as I chant like you should visualize the mantras not just the letter written on paper but they are creating their own sound. So when you have Medicine Buddha's mantra in yourself, it is kind of spinning inside your body and then creating light and vibration and sound and heal all your physical problems and mental problems and spiritual problems. Heal all of them with the power of this Medicine Buddha's mantra and its blessing and you become a completely healthy being. Heal all your problems like gene, genetic problem or whatever, the physical problems and then mental and spiritual all. And then uh, when I recite, continuously reciting mantra, you visualize that you are sending it to the, all the beings on the planet. And same thing that uh, blessing of the mantra in the form of sound goes out and then bless all other beings and heal their physical problem, mental problem, and spiritual problem, they also become a very healthy. As we started at the beginning, we wish them to be healthy. We do wish them to be good, happy, free from the pain. So send this energy out when I uh, recite this mantra. First, I will do the invocation and then recite the mantra. And at the end, I will do the dedication. So when we reach to the dedication, uh, session, I'm not going to repeat again, as we did earlier, that Medicine Buddha get, become very happy with you for being a part of this event. And with smiling, he tells you that, hey, oh dear, my dear, you are completely free from all the physical problem, mental problems, spiritual problem, problems, you are completely healed, you are the most healthiest being on earth, and you have done a great job by giving your healing energy to the all other being. So he's pleased with you and blessed you. And then you should uh, uh, create a sense of sense in your heart that I am completely healed person now. I am compassionate person as we went through the uh, Avalokiteshvara's mantra. And now I am completely healed being on earth. So this will be three stages, but I'm not going to repeat it again. This is first invocation of the Medicine Buddha, then the mantra, then the dedication. <laughs> Om 
that, you know, uh, she first invoke her and she is in front of us and she sends all her blessings in the form of mantra that comes to us and get inside ourselves and then multiple into millions and billions and it's uh, spinning inside yourself and create the, all the energies and filled up entire your body, speech and mind and with the Tara you visualize protection, you know, with the uh, Avalokiteshvara, we generated our compassion, developed our compassion, and then Medicine Buddha healed us. Now we need a protection in future that nothing will harm us again in future. With the mantra of Tara creates a protection shield to ourselves, and then we are protected and nothing can destroy, nothing can create problem, nothing can generate new problem for us. And same thing, then we send that protected uh, uh, blessing of protection to all other beings and give these blessings to all of them and they all get protected with the blessings of Tara and its mantra, her mantra. So I will do the uh, invocation. You visualize that Tara is coming in front of you. 
came in front of you and then sending the blessing to you and then blessed you with all the healing energy and then protection and then you send out all this protection blessing of the protection to all other beings and then protect all other beings and then at the end when i do the uh, dedication tara is pleased with you for all this wonderful job you did and she says a word saying that oh my dear you have done a great job and now you are completely healed and protected and my blessing of protection is with you forever and you will be protected from all this all any kind of problem in future so you just uh, generate this kind of strong believe that you are protected by tara with his blessings please visualize as i said
so much. Now we will make the final dedication. Uh, when we make dedication, uh, we already did uh, lots of dedications. Now that final dedication, we dedicate for no war, no fights, no pandemic, no sicknesses, no shortages, shortages in resources for the livelihood of the being. So this is one. And then good health physically, mentally, and spiritual to all other beings. And then third, may all beings attain the state of ultimate peaceful mind. So we will dedicate for three. One, once again, no war, no fights, no pandemic, no sicknesses, and no shortages in resources for the livelihood of all beings. And good health physically, mentally, and spiritually. That's the second. And then third, may all beings attain the ultimate peaceful mind. So when I recite this mantra, please make this dedication. We have accumulated lots of good energy, positive energy, blessings, and good merits. Now we dedicate this for all those three things. Chang <laughs> Chandra Kangriya Thank you again. Thank you, Jonathan and Andy, Alex, and all of you for sharing your, giving your time for me. Thank you. Lama Tashi, thank you so much for these extraordinary blessings of light and love through sound for our planet and world sound healing day from India and an extraordinary Hai Lama. It is such a gift to have you in our presence. We will trustfully see you very soon. Thank you so much. Thank you. And we bid everyone blessings for a World Sound Healing Day and for a peaceful, prosperous, harmonious planet as we work together with the light and love through sound. We heal the planet, we heal ourselves, we heal ourselves, we heal the planet. Thank you and good night.